Welcome to Transformations, an inspirational series of life-changing messages from God's Word. This week's highlights are taken from Living Wisely in God's World, February 2013. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verses 10 through 19, God is very firm in His warnings to us about the destructive influences of ungodly people in our lives. Beware of poison people. Beware of toxic relationships. Beware of people that would pull you into places in your life where you never, ever had an intention of going, and yet you find yourself there and you wonder, how did I ever get here? What is the Father's advice? Number one, don't consent. Do not consent. That means do not acquiesce. Don't give yourself away. Don't let yourself be prostituted by another's evil intent. Don't let your, your sell your own soul at the expense of some temporary pleasure or enticement. But see, in order for someone to give consent, that means that they are participants. If I consent to something, that means that I have given my approval. I'm consenting. I'm a consenting adult. It means that I have made a choice and I've made a decision. That's why it is so important to guard your mind and to guard your heart in Christ Jesus prayerfully and to gird up in the Word. Each and every day, if you go out into the world without the Word, without a covering of prayer, Without a sense of I've already up front made the decision that no matter what, no matter what enticement comes my way, no matter what evil intent filters into my life through some toxic individual or, or some situation in life, I've already made the choice up front. I'm not going to consent to it. But it takes a choice. I want you to hear today, right where you are, and I'm not... I'm not saying you're involved in anything. I'm not saying that, that, that you pull up porn on your, on, your, uh, on your computer. I'm not saying that you lust after this or that or the other thing. I'm not saying that you put false gods in front of I'm not saying any of that because I don't know. But I know that God knows. And I know that most of us here, if we quit faking ourselves out, we know. So I'm going to ask you here this morning, whatever it is, that you might be tempted to consent to the moment that you leave this place. Maybe you're being tempted right now. Make a decision right here today. Say, I am making the decision that those doors are closed. I'm making the decision that I will not consent. And I'm going to ask God to replace my heart of lust. To replace those things that would waylay me. Those temptations. Those things that might trip me up including those people that are toxic in my life, give me the strength to be able to stand up and make a godly choice and walk straight. Don't let this culture, don't let this, the, the, all the promotion about how great it is to compromise and be kind of one foot in the world and one foot with, foot with Jesus. You're either both feet with Jesus or you're both feet in the world. I don't buy this stuff about sitting on the fence. There isn't anybody who sits on the fence. You're either, if, if you're sitting on the fence, you're in the world. You can make a decision or you don't. Plain and simple as that. The word says be different. Be somebody who, when people look at you, there is no question. You're not a fence rider. You're not some shade of gray. You made a decision up front. You're not going to consent. In fact, that decision is so firm that you have no problem saying it. I'm not hanging with you. I'm not going where you go. I know where that leads. I say, come on, as Christians, let's teach ourselves to be emotionally strong here, folks. Amen. Let's gird ourselves up with minds that have already made a decision. Come hell or high water, I'm serving Jesus. Amen. I don't care what anybody else thinks or says. And my old friends, if they want to live in that toxic pig sty, whatever you want to call it, they want to live there, I don't want to see them live there, but I ain't going there. I don't care how close they are. I've already put up the roadblock. No, I'm not going there. I will minister to you. I will love you. I will pray for you. But I'm not going to hang out with you and have a good time. 
that gives you the wrong message. That gives you the wrong message that I think it's okay for you just to be doing what you're doing. Are they going to call you judgmental? Yeah. Are they going to call you a bunch of names? Are they going to tell you that, that you're holier than thou? Well, yeah, they will. Wham! Get over it. Amen. Keep moving. Amen. But because of His resurrection, we now have the power of the Holy Spirit that operates in and through us, and that is a power that has the capacity and the ability and the desire to live in and through you and I so that evil does not have its way in our lives. Here are some questions and some action steps for you to consider. Number one, are there any toxic people in your life that are influencing you to make ungodly choices? Perhaps it's time to change your circle of friends. Number two, are you being a godly influence to the people in your life? Make a decision today that your life is going to be a reflection of Christ. And number three, do you want to make a godly impact on a lost and dying world? If so, be a person of the word, of prayer, and who chooses to make wise choices. Whatever it takes.